quality of life and decent employment for our young people. That's the ultimate goal of our job service offices. And Don Bosco Tech Africa has taken the establishment, promotion and empowering of job service offices as one of its priorities. We are promoting the job service offices at the country level and at the training center levels. One of the tools developed to support the job service office is the job service officers quality manual. This manual is the fruit of the practical experience of the Don Bosco job service officers from the continent. They met for the first time in 2017 in Nairobi, Kenya and later in Addis, Ethiopia in 2018 to finally come up with a manual. As Don Bosco Youth Technical Institute, using this uh, quality manual, we have implemented quite a number of things. Uh, one of the things that we have done so far is to enhance meetings with the graduates, the past pupils, uh, parents, and the stakeholders. The third one, which is the enterprises. When the enterprises understand and they are well informed so that they know what kind of human resource they would acquire from the students that we are training. They would also help us in understanding what the industry needs. This manual is not just about job placement only. Instead, it's all about accompanying the youngster from the moment he or she sets foot in a Don Bosco training center. Again, this accompaniment is not just the work of the job service officer only, but of an educative community accompanying this youngster. Mission 2 is a mission that was initially set aside only for those who are going for internship, but we have realized that it is a new mentality that is needed not only to those who are going for internships, but also to all the students who join our institution. It is a mentality that needs to be inserted in them in a way that it will help all the youth to be able to stand on their own feet after the training. How do we work in line with this mission? We do try to help the youth acquire some skills, some life skills, apart from the professional skills, uh, skills in order for them to market their services because it is not only a matter of having a career, one needs to have the know-how in order for them to value and give value to their career. Now, during these training sessions, we do invite the youth and then teach them on how to write their CV, for example, and write uh, a letter for, uh, when asking for a job, for example. We need to help them develop team spirit for them to work in a team. If it is their own company, they should be able to develop rules in the company that should be followed in order for their companies to move ahead. Jesus in the Salija activity centers are working mainly in five areas, facilitating and providing career guidance, facilitating uh, internship program on job training in collaboration with uh, different companies, creating partnership with the uh, public and private uh, sector, uh, job attachment, monitoring and evaluating the labor market survey. They conducted a labor market survey before starting uh, solar court to see uh, if there is demand and uh, the result of the survey was very interesting and it uh, helped us the 
commencement of the solar training. They are working with more than seven companies. And they sign MOU with uh, some of the companies. In a great mission for prepare trainees for the labor market, we ensure that trainees choose training programs based on their interests and the demands of the labor market. This is achieved through organizing intensive orientation programs in our training institutions. We also organize training sessions on life skills. This involves training them on CV and cover letter writing, how to present themselves, and how to, pre to prepare oneself to attend an interview. Trainees are also given trainings on labor laws. This is aimed at enabling trainees to understand the various labor laws so that they know their rights and duties. We create collaboration with public and private entities focused on preparation of youth for the labor market. This is achieved through signing MOUs and inviting various stakeholders to our training institutions to build good working relationships and networks. The main aim of this mission is to support our students and graduates from our Tibet centers in their transition from the training processes to the world of work, that is to be employed, wage employment and self-employment. The first thing is to do is to, to make sure we have the quality training of the technical skills to uh, our young people. The second is the JSO's office, we make sure that we, the young people they are provided with the skills employable skills, that is life skills, employment and entrepreneurial skills trainings and also we provide them with the uh, opportunity to go to the field attachment where they get exposed to the technology and working environment. We have partners that we collaborate with, that is public partnership and the private partnership. In public partnership in Tanzania, we are very happy and we thank God that we have the government, the central government to work with. The Prime Minister's office, through the Minister of Labor, Youth, Employment and the People with Disability. And second, we have the Regional Commissioner's offices. They support us in various ways. We have district and the municipal uh, uh, offices. Also, they support us. Obviously, with the, even the local governmental offices, they support us in the various ways. When you talk also uh, other in terms of uh, learning institutions, we have uh, VETA. VETA is a Vocational Education Training Authority. This makes sure that we have the quality of training. And we have also other institutions like uh, public uh, universities, like University of Dar es Salaam, uh, DIT, and other institutions. They support us in giving the, the students the technical practical training in their field attachment exp exposure. When we talk also uh, about the private sector, we have many companies that are supporting us with uh, two things, three actually, three things. They employ our graduates. Secondly, they provide opportunities for field attachment exposure for our graduates, our students, when they are in the, in the school uh, training processes. And also we have some companies who are helping us in technical support. Like uh, we have now companies that we have MOUs that are supporting us in these areas. Just to mention a few, we have uh, Tata. Tata Motors is one of the companies that have helped a lot of our students. So far they have a program, it's a global program. They take our students to, to India and also we invite them in a different program. Like we have Impress Forum program that we call all the, the companies that we work with to thank them, to appreciate what their contribution to, towards uh, uh, preparing our young people and giving them a uh, new hope of life by giving them the training, practical training and employment. One of the items here is uh, how we collaborate uh, with our internal and external stakeholders. 
Internally, we do a lot of collaboration with our internal stakeholders, that is Salatians, the students, the past people, the parents, you know, the managers, the center managers, we, 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 we meet them once in a while. We talk to them once in a while to have the quality manual. We try to strategize and plan and see how to give effective TVET delivery, you know, to our young people that is market oriented, that uh, we assist them at the end of the day when they leave our center. And once in a while too, we do what is known as the parent teachers association meeting for the parents to know uh, what is happening to their, to their children. Externally too, we have our stakeholders we are collaborating with in different areas in Nigeria, both in our local centers and here in Lagos. Uh, in 2018, we did a roundtable conference where we invited certain stakeholders in the TVET sectors, from the government sectors, and the other private sectors, and we as the Bosco and employers, where we look at the trend of TVET in Nigeria, what is happening, you know, and we discovered that we don't have a TVET policy, and we are working hard, you know, towards that to make sure the government brings out a TVET policy in the long, uh, in the long run. I would want to share with you about um, Mission 7 in line with the quality manual. Mission 7, what is it about? It is all about uh, ensuring that the training centers have got the viable information on the training, the internships. We want to make it systematic such that all of the people who are in our training will have space to do internship in companies where we have opportunities for training. With the internship, uh, we also try to do some visits in the working places so this helps uh, the students uh, to get the reality of what is happening in the field this helps them to know what awaits them in the future as professionals for better training we need to keep a permanent communication with the heads of companies and so we enter in communication with them so that our students can have space to do internship and we do try to sign MOUs so that we are working not based on individual relationships but formal relationship with institutions and companies and so once or twice a year we have meetings with these companies in order to gather all the necessary information of our graduates. This helps us get the necessary information about our former students about how they are doing in the field, the companies where they are serving at, and uh, their contacts, of course, are in this uh, database, so we know where our students are working. So this database helps us know sufficiently where our, student, our former students are, and so our partners also are able to know where we are and what we are doing in the field through our former students. The Job Service Quality Manual is a very essential and a powerful tool at the same time. It provides the job service officer with the basic information and defines also their area of intervention. Nevertheless, and as you all know, the world of work was changing, is changing as we speak and will also change in the future. The big difference compared to the past will be the increasing speed of the changes. If you compare the time duration between the first and the second industrial revolution and you compare it with the time duration between the third and the fourth industrial revolution, you can clearly see that the periods between are getting shorter and shorter. What does this mean for the workforce, for the educators, for the people, like the job service officers who are assisting graduates to successfully and sustainably enter into the world of work? It means that also the approaches have to be reviewed and have to adapt it in order to meet the needs of the labor market. This can only be achieved if all stakeholders are on board and participate in the various processes that are mentioned in the JSO Quality Manual. DBTEC Africa, as the umbrella organization of these 102 Salesian TVET centers, we are aware about the circumstances and we provide answers in various ways to the changing environment, to the changing need of the labor market. One of them is the Quality Manual. As said before, the world of work is changing. So has the manual. It has to respond to the present needs. 
The office also plans to add a self-evaluation tool to the JSO quality manual with the recommendation se section for further development. This will allow new users to kind of evaluate their level of competence in the various missions and also allow the users to monitor her or his development in their job service work. Our office is always open for communication, is always open for feedback on the manual, on exchange of TVET. We are ready also to share our knowledge if it benefits TVET in Africa. Your placement office, because due to them, they help me to have this job that I have right now. The GSO office facilitated internship program. After my completion of the course, GSO finds job and now I am employed. Also, GSO helps us to negotiate and get decent pay. The job service office took us to different companies and talked to the company managers on my Internship works as a way of reinforcing our courses because in school we are taught both theory and practical. But internship is more practical and it shows us and brings us into the professional world because there we know what awaits us. After completion of our course, the office brought us people who taught us self-employment and they encouraged me to practice and become an entrepreneur and be self-employed. Thanks to JSO, 